Welcome to an Osada playthrough. We're going to start with some property and a field. This truck. And just $50,000 and a chainsaw. And then we're going to see how much of a baron we can become. Nice rolling hills map. Definitely towards the smaller field types. As you can see, a lot of the smaller fields. Some bigger, but mainly small to medium fields. Did make some changes. Oh, took out a person. Did make some changes to the starting property since we don't have anything other than one shed that was on there. And the main reason I left that was because it looks good. It's not super big. So it's not going to have a lot. And it fits in so nice. I wanted to make sure. I'd want one there anyway, and sometimes we all know how it can be. It's a little finicky, and it won't let you fit in. So, first things we're going to have to do, let's hop on the internet. See if there's anything good and used. And, I mean, that would be nice, but there's no need for it. Yet, yeah, nothing. Nothing. So, this is our starting plot with this ooh, wheat field that is ready. Heavily weeded. And then here I filled all this area with in for with trees. I'll probably end up having to cut some of them down, but I'm gonna try not to cut too many down because I do like the aesthetics of it. So, first things first, I have a feeling I need to spend most of my 50000 on a harvester. Because then we can harvest our own field, and we can do some contracts. I only have regular contracts on, I am not doing extended contracts. So, I'll get back to you once we have that harvester back here. Well, we got ourselves an old harvester. As you can see, it did use up 19,000 available funds we have. So, it's not too bad. So we should be able to now take care of our own field and start doing a few jobs as well. So let's hop in. See how well it does on this harvest thing. I have never used this particular mod before, so I am not sure how good it is. Turn off the swamp, because we are not going to be bailing at this time, at least not that. Oh wow, those trees are coming. Yep, those trees are going to be annoying. works pretty well. I do like the fact that it is super smoky. <laughs> As it runs, it's a nice little feature. And it's kicking up all that. It's a nice little feature. I like that. Alright, I'm going to get this field. 
all harvested up and I'll get back to you. In. we're coming up on the end this harvester is not bad it's not one we're probably going to want to keep for a real long time as you can see it struggles on these hills it barely this is the lowest I've, it's gotten but it will work for now but yeah going up these hills it doesn't like certain spots, that's for sure. It's not a bad little mod, though. It would work really good on a flat one. So we are actually going to fix this. Because it's going to be quicker to just drive to the top and drive back down. Got a nice, uh, it's got a nice tank that can hold 6,000 liters, which is going to be almost what this field holds in its current state. I'm sure once we get it higher with the fertilizer and the liming and all that fun stuff weeding it's gonna probably produce if we we're to do this again probably six and a half maybe seven So we're going to get this last little bit. And we're going to have our field completed. Completed. So 
we can bring it over back over here. Use our truck. I like this truck. Reminds me of a truck that I had when I was a kid. But it's also going to be useful because we have ourselves a built-in trailer. Wow, that actually... I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter. But that is odd. That mod dumps it. Does a fast dump. But like I said don't plan on keeping it for a super long time anyway, just as long as we need it. Let's go ahead and get it parked. It doesn't seem that you can actually lower the header or remove the header once you put it on. So that's a little odd. But, not a big deal either. So let's turn it on. Hop on out. And all those oats have now been grabbed. Let's go ahead, do a quick look. We probably won't get control of maybe wheat. I guess we can maybe do barley. We have a lot. There's a couple harvesting. That one's probably way too big for what we have. Yeah, that take forever with the little tractor. But I mean, we could. Huh. Let's see what we're going to spend. We know we're going to need a plow. 0.5 meters. I don't think I could ever handle doing that. Got that chase. That has four. Yeah, we're... I don't think... In that case is a possibility, but we're also going to need cedar. We know that, which we're going to get the good old John Deere. I love this mod. It looks so nice, and it works so well. It'll do your fertilizing and your seeding. It is not a direct, so you do have to have it either plowed or cultivated. But it's actually a really good mod. I'll uh, make sure I, if I can find a link to it again, I'll put a link in the comments. So yeah, we're gonna have, we can get that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna. Definitely gonna pick one of those up. We're gonna need one. While we're doing it, we're going to need a tractor. We're gonna go the John Deere sixty three hundred. Another nice mod. Uh, we will not do the front load attached for currently. Uh, we do want to put the maximum weight on it because you can't do anything without it. And then I'm not going to spend the 2100 for the extra five horsepower. Not this early in the game because as you can see, 
we're way down. But, I'll get back with you once we've grabbed this tractor in cedar. Uh, again, might as well just pick up the seeds and the fertilizer while I'm up there. I'll catch you up there. Well, we've got the new tractor, got the cedar. Going to have to eventually come back for the for the seed, what's left in that seed bag and what's left in that fertilizer bag. It is a very wide. But. It's actually a really good cedar. As you can see, it holds 830 liters. But for the size fields we currently have, that's going to be plenty big. Oops. Need to pay attention here. Normally I'd go that way, but with how big this cedar is, I think it's best if we cut through some stuff here. I'm going to catch you back at the farm. Alright, so we're pretty low on money. Do have a place to sleep now. Which, if anyone, these old canvas style, they're not bad. And they are livable in during the winter as long as you get one of the uh, camp. A wood stove. That you can usually most of these they even have a side vent or a top vent that you can put in. You're never going to be super warm, but you can easily through winter until it starts getting around zero, negative zeros. That's where it can be a little tricky. That in a heavy snowfall, especially if it's super wet, can collapse these. But you just pound it off. Pain, but it's not bad. So we got weeds growing, which that no big deal yet, but it does need plowing. I really, I'm going to need that plow anyway. I'd rather buy the plow and then instead of renting it this time, these oats, what could I know they're out of season. That's the only problem. Is they are out of season. I am not going to get top. Uh, but I can get 810. Yeah, that's way down. I, could I wait till January? I mean, technically, if I'm doing barley, I can. Wheat, I could. Wait till March. But I'm going to need the trailer anyway. I need that trailer anyway. For any of these harvesting things I would do. Well, at least this one. But it only pays $7.79. But if I get the plow, I can plow some of these fields. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to see if we can. Uh, this Kelowna is a train that I've never been able to find. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. 8 4, we're still going to be short getting that plow. But, we could cut one of these trees down. and get at least one and at least get that plow. I want that. We're going to need that plow for 
And it's a good size plow. The tractor we have will be able to pull it. And as I start to gain fields, I'm going to combine some of these fields to make them larger. Whoa, hey there, buddy. You needed to stop. All right, let's just to get 4,000. Like I said, we'll be 1,000 short. I don't want to cut down all those trees, but I think one is going to be all right. So let's go ahead and dump this. hundred short. So yeah, let's uh, head back and I'll get back with you. After. And we're back at the farm. I think this one should be plenty big. Get it, get it nice and low there. Oh, decided uh <laughs> yeah, it did a little damage to the truck. So you always gotta be careful. Alrighty. So Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get the super long logs, which of course gives us more money. Because we've got to be able to pick them up. But all we're trying to really do is get that thousand. So we can uh, yeah, not really made to do because it doesn't have any straps, but should work for us. Should easily be able to get us our thousand we're looking for. Oop, tree there. Like I said, it's not actually made to do these, but they'll fit. Nice thing is, we don't have very far to go to get rid of it, because it's right across the street from us. Gotta be careful because we can't go too high because we don't have straps in this. This again was not a mod that was it was made to be a dump, not a hauler. But it it definitely can work as a hauler. Let's pick it up. All right, let's take this over, see if we can get our thousand. Ooh. Oh yeah, we had a lot, of, a lot of room yet. All right, get right over here. Like I said, just across the street. Oh, not enough. 
We're gonna have to do another tree. Oh well, I guess we should have taken an even bigger tree. Not for sure that one would be enough though. Like I said, I don't wanna take out all these trees. Actually, I wonder. Is this one on my property, or is this next doors? Because if it's on ours, I really want to get... <gasps> yes! Even though I hate these trees. Because you gotta do all these branches. They're annoying. But that'll make things nice. I do have the Lumberjack mod on, but I'm only going to use it for stumps, and the super strength is mainly to get unstuck. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. So this isn't as much wood as the other one was. But in actuality, we only need 240. Ah! Dropped. Alright, let me get this all loaded up and I will meet you over at the... Alright, let's see if it gives us the 250 we need. It did! We have an extra 281 dollars now. So I think we're going to call that the first episode. When we get back, I'll have the plow down here and we will start plowing. I hope you enjoy. If you have any comments, suggestions about how the playthrough should go through, let me know. I appreciate you viewing. You have a good day or a good evening, whichever it is for you.